Identity. What do people think of me? What is their perception of myself? Does that old cooter walking her dog think I'm sexy AF? Does my crush want my seed? When I talk all vague and cryptic on Twitter, do people think I'm mysterious and cool? Answer, by the way, is no, you're not Cardi. But you see the truth? I'm gonna keep it 100 to the fifth power times five plus Google that you do care about what people think of you. I know most of you are probably too pussy to admit it, but if you look deep into your heart, you will find a pussy bitch loser because you care about what people think of you. But it's okay, because we're all pussy bitch losers that care about our own image. I mean, think about it. I mean, if you don't care about what people think of you to some degree, you're probably a psychopath, right? But still, we got a bunch of yuppies being like, I don't give a fuck about what anyone thinks of me. Me, uh, me when I lie. It's a cope. You know why it's a cope? Because the only people that truly don't care about what people think of them, they're the socially inept kids that get bullied all day. So trust me, you're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. You see, me, for example, I have to care about what you bums think of me. If everyone hated me, then I wouldn't be getting paid. I'd probably be in a Denny's bathroom sucking dick for a nickel. I mean, that's just the state of the world. But even if I wasn't a porn hubber, I would still care about what people think of me because of stupid human shit like ego and confidence and not living in a false state of identity but you see the very real statistic of 99.9% .9 of people they be putting up x I mean think of it like this think of it like this most of the people in your life that you'll talk to that you'll meet you're not actually talking to them you're only talking to the version of them that they want you to see it's a more generous usually less assholey version of themselves they're more likable and you know I'm right because if you know someone long enough they'll start showing their true colors and people will say you switched up you you changed but no you just stop bullshitting but everybody bullshits at least a little bit i mean even i do and i'm like the realest man alive but for some people bullshitting is an art form they don't do just the occasional white lie you know like when you say you love a gift but it's like wow a tie yeah five bucks would have done just as good but hey when these go in the trash just know i thought of you nah it's not like you were lying about not doing your homework no man these people are frauds they wear a mask with a smile for hours at a time they're fucking usops at the end of the day all they truly care about is if people think highly of them and they will do anything to accomplish that you know and these people are everywhere i mean you're probably one of them disgusting fuck first you got the people that really want to be seen as different they don't want to be seen as basic or boring everyone needs to know that they're the protagonist of life they are the needle in the haystack so they'll try their damn best to have the most niche obscure taste in everything a contrarian on everything they got a rare aesthetic but it's not really rare i mean these people are just on another plane of existence like they'll be watching these videos being like this is the next one's me the next one's gotta be me the next one's me i'm really rare and look if that was it i don't think i'd care but what these people will do to come off as more unique and different is they'll make fun of people for not liking the most niche obscure things ever for not being as unknown and underground as they are this goes from everything from fashion to fucking anime and especially music hipsters wow you listen to drain gang mf doom and death grips we get it bro you're quirky and different you're such an npc not me though real underground music is hearing a rock smash against someone's skull pitch down seven octaves with reverb normie like bro we both know this obscure music you pretend to like sounds like shit you just want to have a cool looking topster it's okay but you see hipsters aren't the only people that put down others to elevate their image because this shit is extremely common it's like that trope of how bullies bully other people to make themselves feel better but instead of shoving nerdy pip squeaks in lockers it's it's making fun of other people to boost their image like them irony boys you know you've definitely seen them around because they're incredibly common irony courses through their bloodstream they never take things seriously they make fun of everything and because of this one would assume these guys do not care about their image at all how cool but then when you think about it you start to realize a lot of them do this because they don't want to get made fun of themselves they want to act above people because they actually do care about how they're perceived being ironic all the time is like a shield if you ever express a genuine thought and people don't like it you can just be like guys it was ironic <laughs> and no one would be the wiser i would know i practically pioneered it you should subscribe really what these people will also do is right they'll recognize an unspoken phenomenon or cliche and archetype a trope and just try to apply it to people whenever they can to make them look basic cringe not self-aware to make themselves look superior if i were to tweet out uh i like nintendo games you know i'm gonna get hit with that cringy disgusting nintendo fan starter pack like treating me as if i was in middle school wearing the cargo shorts and zelda shirt bro i just like mario and pokemon how am i the nerd emoji how am i the consumer wojek like god forbid i say i like an aspect about japan i'll get one of these in my comments no i'm not this guy stop <laughs> stop
Oh. Now, I'm not going to pretend that majority of roasting isn't just jokes because it is. But I definitely believe a lot of people do it just so they can get that one-up factor to get that ratio. Anything for a sweet drop of clout. <laughs> now, this kind of connects to like another aspect of image where you're not really being fake in terms of wanting to impress people, but you're just trying not to get bullied. So you might not dress a certain way. You might not express certain interests. And I feel like that's more understandable. It is what it is. Now, the other slimy shit people will do to like boost their image is being a victim when you're not one because people will suck you off maybe hop on social movements or opinions that you obviously don't have of course flexing you know maybe you want to flex so you talk to the famous youtuber or panda i wouldn't blame you or flex whatever new trendy shit you just bought now to specify because some of you guys are really fucking retarded just because you're a hipster you like making fun of people you like irony flexing etc everything is in this video doesn't necessarily mean you're doing it for other people's approval but there's a high chance you are doing it for that reason it's just the reality and then you got the people that just say shit because that's what people want to hear the things you like and dislike change depending on who you're around if i'm around my conservative buddies then i i love dave Chappelle. but if i'm around my liberal friends i <laughs> i love nothing when a new popular notion drops you'll switch your belief up not because you actually changed your opinion because everyone else has the opinion now so you should too like whenever an artist dies bro all the posers come out the woodworks being like this is the worst day of my life all right p man taken too soon i was your biggest fan i saw it with little peep i saw it with mac i saw it with x y'all just a bunch of floppers no Fortnite. acting like a passenger in the casket trying to get people to think you're a real one by being fake the irony now i want you guys to look at this chart i made now please ignore this guy do not give him attention he thrives off of it in fact all right so if we look at this chart here when you're about this era you don't really care about what people think of you your brain is mush at this point but you see it around here uh oh wah, wah, wah. that's when you start to care and value other people's perception of yourself it's really gay and then, and then right here, like around your, uh, your 15 area to 25 area, that's like the peak when you care about what people think of you. Although for some people, for some people it just drops down all the way like this. In fact, it might even go on, it might even do this. You just really care what people think of you. You'll pretend to be something you're not. You'll say shit just to impress people. Yeah, it's just really all about impressing. Right, let me write this down. All right, so now if we scroll all the way down here is when you really just stop caring. You know, you're, you're, you start having a family, you have responsibility, you start, you start being fat, you start letting go, you stop caring. Uh, but you might be like, oh, okay, Panda, but what's over here? Over here is the midlife crisis. Yeah, it, it'll happen. It'll definitely happen. That's why it's a spike. But after that, it'll die straight down again. So yeah, this is like the life cycle of you, know, you caring about the people's perception of you and the ages that follow because it changes throughout your age. <sighs> now looky here, partner. Despite whatever image you might try to put up, the fake things you do to try to impress other people, the only people that truly know you, that truly understand you, are the few people like family and friends that are really close to you. And even then, they might not. See, it's very fun, hilarious even, to make fun of the people that are like, Nobody gets me, I'm so misunderstood. But are they wrong, though? Like you people, for example, a lot of you guys think you actually know the inner mechanisms of my mind, but do you know the coffee I drink? Do you know the places I've been? The people I've met? The things I've, I've done? done? I've been a fucking monk if you don't remember but you wouldn't have known that if i hadn't told you or maybe i'm lying thus illustrating that you don't know shit now you could make well-educated assumptions about people you know on the little aspects of their character in fact i do it all the time and i love it but in the back of my mind i'm always like yeah but do i really know how their mind works though you see internet celebrities get exposed for heinous shit all the time and it's usually the ones you never expect and it's like everyone's so shocked but it's like you never really knew them point yeah. proven a panda yeah. you're so right like people think because someone's famous and they have their whole life documented they really know these people some parasocial shit but just because you see a giraffe in a zoo every day doesn't mean you actually know how the giraffe thinks yeah i'm deep i'm kind of like drake if you hadn't noticed i think i want to wrap up this video by saying some cliche shit like don't live your life always trying to impress other people be yourself but let's be honest that's not gonna happen so uh if you're gonna be a hipster just don't be a douchebag about it please you make me want to kill myself but it's okay because we need the phonies in the world because if we didn't have those then there wouldn't be no apana